Alrighty, we are back with videos on this channel. It's been, how many months? It's definitely been, it's definitely been at least two or three months since I posted. Anyway, we're going to do something different on this channel. Starting now, we're going to be doing product reviews um, to a boost up content and to hopefully help out future buyers when buying their alarms. For this, for our first review, we're going to be reviewing the first alert, SE7010B Combination Smoke and Carbon Monoxide Alarm. And to start off, um, it comes with, it comes with the box as usual. It comes both the English and it looks like a Spanish manual, which is yellow for some reason. It also comes with the dust cover, which is very useful just in case if you are doing like construction work or painting, you can cover this up, which will protect the alarm from getting, from contamination, which I think is really nice. This is the wiring harness it comes with. Normally, this orange wire is completely shut and you're gonna have to use a wire stripper to strip that out, which I don't really like, but it works nonetheless. And here's the actual alarm itself. It, it also comes with a mounting base, which is, and this specific mounting base is perfect for um, alignment as well. And it keeps the alarm fully secure. And this base also has optional theft pre prevention locks, which you can put on both the battery drawer here and on the bracket itself if you're worried with this alarm being tampered with. Alright, let's get to the actual alarm now. And this alarm has a photoelectric sensor, which is generally more sensitive at detecting, fire, detecting smoke from slow smoldering fires. These sensors also create less nuisance alarms from cooking and shower steam. And this button right here is both a silence and test button. If it goes off from like burnt food or something, or any unwanted alarm in general, you can hold this button down to mute unwanted alarms. This button also functions as a test button, which got to hold down for a bit. And I'll demonstrate that in a few moments. This alarm also has a carbon monoxide sensor. And this also has a low frequency sounder, which is very effective. It'll wake somebody up a whole lot easier in an emergency situation. It also comes with, it also comes with two AA batteries included. It also has this nice battery drawer here, so you don't have to remove the alarm from the base to change out the batteries. To change out the batteries, all you have to do is to press these things here and the batteries will just pop right out just like that and to change the batteries you just reinsert the batteries the same way you took them out just like that and that's what it sounds like when you first power it on now before i test it here's something that i really like about this unit if you see this green light periodically flashing like about every two seconds and chirping every minute. This That means that this alarm needs a battery change. But if you see a red light flashing every two seconds on either of these, depending on where it is, it previously detected smoke or CO, which can be very useful because um, it'll let you know if it detected anything while you were away. And now let's hit the test button. It'll test both the smoke and carbon monoxide features on this alarm. And you gotta hold it down for a bit and to um, activate the alarm. And there we go. That is how the alarm tests. And this also, 
this is also powered on 120 volt AC from this wiring harness right here. This wiring harness has three wires. The black is live, the white is neutral, and red slash orange is the interconnect. Normally you do not have to strip out the live and neutral. Only, inter only the interconnect you have to strip. And yeah, my overall thoughts of this product, it is very good, and I highly recommend it. This is one of the quickest alarms to detect both smoke and CO. And this alarm is also backed by First Alert's 10-year limited warranty. What I also really like about this product is that if it somehow malfunctions or if it hit end of life, it will provide an audible signal and telling you that this alarm needs to be replaced. If it chirps three times, which it should show back here, yep. Four beep CO alarm, one chirp per minute, replace battery, three chirps per minute, malfunction, replace alarm, and five chirps per minute is end of life, replace alarm. The end of life and the malfunction chirp is mainly for the CO sensor, as far as I know. Normally, regular smoke alarms don't have that. It's mainly for the CO sensor for, for the malfunction and end of life signal. So yeah, my overall thoughts of this product, very nice, highly recommend it. Low frequency sounder is extremely loud, so it'll definitely be very effective with waking somebody up. And now, I'm going to give it a final score. It, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10, because this is a very nice alarm. Oh, also, one more thing. Um, my only complaint with this product is it can be a little bit of a pain and to um, disconnect the wiring harness, if you do um, replace a first alert product, this wiring harness um, is um, involved with every single first alert product. So if you're going to replace first alert product, just know it's going to be a little bit of a pain to um, disconnect it. So yeah, other than that, 10 out of 10 for this product, I highly, highly recommend it. This alarm is still being made today. And yeah, I'm very happy with this product. Very nice. All right, this, this concludes this product review. If you found this video helpful, feel free to leave it a like. And thank you all very much for watching.